This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum. FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum. Those of you who have simply heard the words Russell Canning arrested might not fully comprehend the colorful history that goes along with those words. I want to introduce you newer liberty activists in New Hampshire and around the world to this extremely interesting character if you're not already familiar with him. Let's go back to 2004, I think. Uh, right after I moved to New Hampshire, uh, Russell Canning moves to New Hampshire from, I think, Nevada, and uh, or maybe Wyoming. And um, he moves to Keene, and I believe he marries Keene resident Cat Canning the day he arrives. So that's just the first colorful thing that he does. He's still married to her. Her name used to be Cat Dillon. And um, he goes on to found the Keene Free Press. He lives in Keene initially. And then a few months after he's moved, uh, he does he, he plays a you know an important role in the first UN flag burn in Keene. He refuses to follow the bureaucrat's orders to burn a certain way in the park and just does whatever he wants. So that's the first sort of civil disobedience that he does. What were some of the sanitary measures you took um, prior to this manicure? Sanitized our hands and um, made sure these are all new instruments. Then he sees Mike Fisher uh, in 2005 do this textbook act of, act of civil disobedience, May 2005, I think. And he says, oh, oh, I could do that, or something like that. Fisher, you know, buffed uh, nails without a license, and he announced in advance to the authorities what he was going to do. It was very carefully planned, just like Rosa Parks, and it was effective and successful. The rest of the goes and does the same thing. He announces in advance he's going to go try to get on an airplane without showing ID. And um, so that gets about the same amount of publicity as Mike Fisher's event. The only piece of civil disobedience in New Hampshire history that I know of that's ever matched Mike Fisher. This is in the days back before we shot much of our own video, but the TSA and you know, arrests him eventually ends up throwing some fines at him, which I believe he never pays. Uh, 2006 rolls along, and he's arrested for holding a sign outside a George Bush event. But get this, he wasn't there for George Bush. He had been planning to protest a different event that was going on at the Radisson Hotel in Manchester. George Bush just happens to later on decide he's going to drop by. So Russell Canning's for, plan for a protest against eminent domain starts to get more complicated. I think they add some different signs that maybe don't have anything to do with the original protest. But uh, anyway, he's arrested for holding a sign on Elm Street in Manchester, because I guess he's within this sort of sign-free zone that, that the Bushies used to have. His new wife, Cat Canning, freaks out, yells at the cops, gets herself arrested too. It, it must take us longer to get here uh, on a weekday than it does on Saturday. That goes to trial, and the Secret Service never shows up, so he gets off without uh, a sentence. And since people were hassled this morning for having signs and stuff like that, we don't quite have free speech in Manchester. Yes. All of these arrests and events. This is back in the days before we really knew how to do stuff at jails, right? It's like it never occurred to us to actually go to a jail where the activist was being held and do anything. So he ends up being held in these various jails without really much of a support network, no protests at the jails, no one outside the jails. It, it's almost like they're, they're lost into the jail system. But he survives and goes on to the rest of 2006, which he spends... Uh, well, he, he, he decides that he has a, one day a post appears on nhfree.com and it says, time for more civil disobedience. And uh, by the way, I, t telling you what Russell Canning has done is one of those things that doesn't really do justice because the way he does it, it's, it's just, he would be a really good talk show host. Canning is just very good with words. He's the most interesting person to listen to in terms of the fact that he'll always come up with a different take on things. You go into Bank of America, in a big place, they have columns of marble, fancy desks, dress a certain way. If you were to ask for money, they look down their nose at you and wonder, oh, what are you going to do with this? 
Are you going to be responsible with it? And all that kind of stuff. And these guys want us to give them money. This is what a New Hampshire Liberty Forum looks like. And this is what you'll look like if you miss it. FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum. FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum.